magandang araw po sa lahat. In behalf of my partner Miss Rosa, ito po ang inyong lingkod na si Rowena ng Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions. Nandito po kami ngayon upang ay lahat ang pagkukumpara ng bagong labas na statistical data for presidential and vice presidential preference ng Pulse Asia. Alam po namin na interesado na po kayong makita ang comparison. Ang pagkukumpara ay mayroon pong two parts. Una, ikukumpara po natin ang nasabing resulta sa datos ng pahayag Q4 ng Publicus Asia at sa pinakabagong release natin dito sa Splat Communications Calia Survey Summary Part 6 na mayroong mahigit na 82,000 respondents. Sa ikalawang part naman po ay hihimayin natin ang datos ng Pulse Asia sa bawat rehiyon ng kanilang pag-aaral. Nakasentro ito sa limang bahagi, National NCR, Balance of Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Ito ay atin ding ikukumpara sa ating mga aktwal na datos. Ayon sa lathala ng Pulse Asia, ang pag-aaral ay kanilang isinagawa December 1 to 6. Ito ay may kabuang 2,400 respondents, at ang method ng pagkalap ng datos ay face-to-face -face interview. Para po simulan na ang paglalahad, Miss Rosa, please go ahead. Good day and thank you sweetie Miss Ruina, as usual, a great and very detailed intro. Gentle reminder for those who dislike my voice and are upset to hear it, you may turn off your volume now. Let us watch the splat video for a few seconds and then our comparisons will commence. This is a statistical data comparison between three nationwide survey results. From Pulse Asia with 2,400 respondents, from Publicus Asia Pahayog Q4 with 1,500 respondents and from Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions Kalyi Survey Summary with 82,000 plus respondents. First, let us look at the results. All these values are percentages. On the topmost level of the chart, you can see the results of Splat Communications Kalyi Survey Summaries. Senator Ping Laksen has 2.32, Senator Manny has 6.01, Pipi Lenny has 8.74, Mayor Isco has 7.87 while former Senator Bongbong Marcos has 60.53. On the second level, you may gleam the results of the Pulse Asia survey, for Senator Ping 6%, Senator Manny 8, VP Lenny 20%, Mayor Isco with 8% and BBM with 53%. On the lowermost level, you can see the results of Publicus Asia Pahayo Q4. 3.4 for Senator Ping, 2.3 for Senator Manny, VP Lenny has 20.2%, Mayor Isco 7.9 and BBM 51.9. The undecided figures of the three surveys are at the rightmost column. Let us now compare the results of the Pulse Asia survey with 2,400 respondents versus the Publicus Asia Pahayo Q4 with 1,500 respondents. As you can clearly see from the table, the bottom level with a red rectangular border, there is no major statistical difference between the two quote scientific studies unquote. They are almost identical with the notable difference only on the figures of Senator Manny. It is lower by 5.7% in publicus, meaning the Pulse Asia obtained higher percentage points for Senator Manny. Let us now compare the results of Splat Communications with over 82,000 respondents versus Publicus Pahaya Q4 with 1,500 respondents. As can be clearly seen in the bottom level row, there are three notable differences between the two surveys. First is the significantly higher percentage of VP Lenny in the Publicus Pahayo Q4 with 20.2% against 8.74% from our records. There is a difference of 11.46% statistical points between the two survey data. The other two notable differences is the lower value that both BBM and Senator Manny obtained in the Publicus survey. 
Senator Manny is lower by 3.71% while BBM is lower by 8.63 percentage points. You all know the drill, quick math pop quiz. Add the lower values of BBM and Senator Manny and what figure did you get? Compare this figure with that of VP Lenny's, what can you say? Kindly jot it down in the comment portion. Again, we reiterate that these differences may be due to the very large disparity of survey respondents. Let us now move on to part 2. The regional comparison of statistical survey results between Pulse Asia and Splat Communications. For the national capital region data, there are only three notable differences, actually four if you include the undecided values on the rightmost column. As can be seen in the bottom row, there are notable higher values obtained in the Pulse Asia survey, these are the numbers of Mayor Isco, his percentage is higher by 7.64%. So is VP Lenny's figures which is higher by 7.81% in the same survey. We can also note that BBM has lower percentage in Pulse Asia for NCR, it is lower by 7.44 percentage points. Now, for the balance of Luzon, this means that all other areas in Luzon except the National Capital Region or Metro Manila. As what can be gleaned from the bottom row, there are two notable higher values in the data of Publicus Asia, those are the values of Senator Ping, with a 4.34% difference and that of VP Lenny with and a remarkable difference of 11.4%. It is also interesting to note that the values of all the other candidates are lower, most notable of which is BBM's values which are lower by 7.3 percentage points. Quick math pop quiz, what do you get when you add all of those who had lower values including the undecided and all of those who have higher values? Kindly jot down your observation in the comment portion. Let us now move to the Visayas data. This is the region where the most significant data difference among the two studies can be observed. The most statistically significant difference is the 18.26% higher value of VP Lenny in Pulse Asia as can be seen in the lowest row of the table. Aside from VP Lenny, three other candidates recorded higher numbers in the Pulse Asia survey, these are Senator Manny with 4.55 higher value. Mayor Isco with 3.45, and Senator Ping with 3%. All of the aforementioned candidates have higher survey percentages in the Pulse Asia survey report. In stark contrast, there are two statistically significant lower values, those of BBMs which is 9.23% lower and the undecided with a whopping 21.15% difference. Another math pop quiz. What will you get if you add BBMs and the undecided percentages? Next, add all of the values which have increased or higher values. Compare the two sums, what can you say? Kindly jot down your answers and opinion in the comment portion. For Mindanao, the most notable difference amongst the values is the percentage of VP Lenny in the Pulse Asia survey which is higher by 7% while BBM's value is lower in Pulse Asia by 7.7%. Let us now look at the combined nationwide numbers between Pulse Asia and Splat Communications Kali survey summary. Looking at the lowest level row, the most statistically significant difference amongst the two survey data is the higher percentage of VP Lenny nationwide. It is higher by 11.26% in Pulse Asia. Kindly focus your attention to the enclosed figures in a blue rectangular box, these are the figures of BBM and the undecided. Both of which have notable lower values in Pulse Asia. BBM is lower by 7.53% while the undecided is lower by 9.5%. Like in the Visayas results, only BBMs and the undecided values are lower while the other candidates obtained higher percentages. Last math pop quiz for this video, 
What is the sum of the values in the blue box? What is the sum of the values in the red box? Compare the two sums and then jot down your answers and end opinions on the comment portion. Isn't that interesting, Miss Gorgeous Ruina? What can you say? Yes, Miss Rosa. I can see that there is no significant statistical difference in the data of Publicus Asia Pahayag Q4 and the Pulse Asia surveys. However, in the data of both these studies, there is a glaring difference on the values of BP Lenny Robredo which I can say is statistically significant. Exactly. There may be a lot of possible reasons for the differences. But the differences are significant in value. The values of VP Lenny Robbery do in the Pulse Asia and Publicus Asia surveys are relatively high in these reputable survey organizations. Let us wait for other surveys to come out so we can compare them once more. Let us see if the numbers of VP Lenny Robbery do will hold, increase or decrease. Her followers can only dream of catching up with the numbers of BBM who is leading all surveys with unprecedented majority numbers nationwide and his numbers just keep on getting higher. I'm done now sweetie Wina, kindly wrap this baby up so we can move on to our next video. Thank you. For all the viewers and subscribers, thank you. Merry Christmas. Bye. Dito na po nagtatapos ang ating pagkukumpara, sana po ay nagustuhan ninyo. Mangyari lamang po na pakilike ang video at ishare ito. Kung sakali naman kung bago pa lang po kayo dito sa ating munting komunidad, sana po ay mag-subscribe na po kayo upang palagi po kayong updated sa mga mahalagang impormasyon ukol sa politika, sa nalalapit na eleksyon at marami pang ibang mga interesanteng bagay-bagay. Ang pagkukumpara ng datos sa Vice Presidential Preference ay inyo pong mapapanood sa ating partner channel, ang SSS TV, ang link ay ilalagay po namin sa description ng video na ito. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagtangkilik at hanggang sa susunod po na video. In behalf of my partner, the gorgeous Miss Rosa and the Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions Team, Happy Holidays everyone! Merry Christmas! Stay safe. Bye.